Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to talk about poultry litter management. My intention is to make this video as simple as possible so that the farmers can understand and everyone can understand it in a very simple way. So first, uh, let's try to understand what is litter. So litter is basically, uh, if this is a poultry house, then you keep your litter here which is basically uh, 5 to 10 centimeter and there are chickens over the litter. So this is a litter material um, and above it are chickens. So this litter material is basically um, bedding plus uh, it could have feather, also it could have uh, feed also, it could have little, little, little bit of water and some other materials. So this litter uh, material is ideally 5 to 10 centimeter, which is a best case scenario. If litter is too thin, then it may not act as an insulating material. And if litter is too thick, that might be too expensive. So what is the function of this litter material? So litter material basically absorbs moisture uh, because uh, in poultry feces there is a lot of moisture and litter helps to absorb that moisture so that that moisture doesn't get in contact with the uh, skin and feet feet and also litter acts as a cushioning material so that it becomes very comfortable for hens to walk on and uh, litter also provides non-slippery surface to the chickens and also litter can be used uh, by chicken as a foraging material, dust bedding material and, um, and nesting material. So these are some of the functions of litter material. So if the litter is poorly managed, what happens is over time litter becomes crusted uh, and it doesn't become friable like this. And what happens is there might be the formation of crust in this area, crust and there might be a formation of cake. So, so when there is a formation of cake, what happens is um, there is a lot of ammonia production from that uh, litter and if there is a lot of ammonia that can have other health and welfare impact to the chickens. So the idea is to make litter as dry as possible. So this is the most important word. So properly managed litter is always dry. It is never cake. It is never wet. So the idea is to make litter as dry as possible. Um, and to make uh, litter dry, it is all about controlling the moisture. And to control moisture, you need to work on drinkers and several other factors. So uh, when the litter is not properly managed, what happens is there is a lot of moisture uh, in the litter, litter becomes, litter becomes cake. And then when the skin and hog and foot gets in contact with those litter, there might be a formation of blisters, there might be a formation of dermatitis and that can have other several negative consequences to chickens. So if there is a dermatitis, then that provides way for bacteria to enter inside the body of chickens and chickens can have other uh, infectious disease as well. And also if the litter has been converted to cake, then there is a lot of ammonia and ammonia also affects growth performance of chickens and also ammonia when it reaches to uh, 25 30 ppm it can become irritating to nose and skin and eyes of chickens and that can have other several um, impact uh, negative impact to chickens so how can we manage litter so we always need to remember that litter should be as dry as possible so to make litter dry what we should do is we should manage drinker so drinker uh, several studies they have said that nipple drinker is better than uh, bell drinker so nipple drinker is something like this where you can have a drop of um, water and bell drinker is something like this kind of drinker where you have water in this area so this nipple drinker is better in terms of managing litter and also what you need to understand is the height of drinker should be uh, optimum if it is too 
too high or too low, too low for the chickens to get water then they will spill a lot of water and water will go into litter and that litter becomes very bad. And the other thing you should consider is the, the depth, depth of uh, litter should be optimum in between 5 to 10 centimeter and also you need to work on ventilation. So ventilation should be optimum. So ventilation should be managed in such a way that ammonia is less and also the humidity of poultry house inside is in between 50 to 70. If it is too humid then um, the water doesn't get soaked from the litter and litter becomes too moist. And if the um, humidity is ideal then water can be easily absorbed from the litter and then that litter becomes dry over time. And also what you should do is you should frequently remove your litter uh, ideally at the end of every production cycle. In many poultry farms what they do is they do not remove litter for 2-3 production cycles and that becomes crusted, caked and there is a excessive production of ammonia and um, other conditions in those kind of litter. And also what you need to do is you need to have an appropriate stocking density. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to follow the guidelines um, of your uh, chicken breed um, and, and um, and find out what is the optimum stocking density. So if it is too dense, if there are too many chickens in that litter, then there will be too much excreta and there will be too much moisture in that litter. And also what you need to do is you need to work on the dietary plan of your chickens. So if uh, they have too much of salt in their, um, in their feed, um, so if they eat too much of salt, they become too thirsty and they eat too much of a water. So and that water again goes into excreta and litter becomes too moist. And also if they have too much fat in their diet, what happens is that fat goes into um, um, excreta and excreta becomes too fatty and that fat gets absorbed into litter and that litter uh, loses its capacity to um, retain water and excreta. So, fat should be ideal and also salt should be ideal. And also several studies they have mentioned that if the nitrogen is too high in your diet then that also um, causes blisters and that leads to higher nitrogen in the litter and that leads to formation of blister and dermatitis in your in the skin of your chicken. So basically in diet what you need to do is you need to have exact amount of salt, exact amount of uh, fat and exact amount of um, protein in the in the diet. So these are some of the things uh, which you can work on. I do not want to talk about uh, chemicals such as um, uh, sodium bisulfate or ferric sulfate or poultry guard because they are too expensive for most of the farmers. So I don't want to go into that, that area. So basically what you need to remember is you need to remember about stocking density. Stocking density should be optimum. You need to remember about liter depth which should be between 5 to 10 centimeter. And you need to remember about drinker management always nipple drinker is better in terms of water management um, and also height of the drinker should be appropriate and also ventilation should be exact so that relative humidity of your farm is in between 50 to 70 and ammonia is less than uh, 25 um, ppm and also diet so in diet salt should be exact fat should be exact um, as per the exact requirement and protein should be protein and amino acid should be as per the exact requirement. So if you follow some of these things then you can easily manage your litter and also when there is a formation of cake then you can break those cakes time and again and also you can uh, regularly look at uh, the areas where the where there is a litter where there is wet litter so what you can do is you can maybe remove those part and uh, replace that with the uh, with the better litter so that also can can be a simple strategy to to manage your litter so these are some of the strategies which you can use to manage your litter i hope uh, this will be useful to you um, you as a poultry farmer to manage your litter uh, please uh, do not forget to leave your comments or like uh, to this video if you like the content of my my video and also please do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching thank you bye